This year, our student speaker is Sue Kim. Sue was born. You got some fans here, Sue. Sue was born in Gimchun, South Korea, immigrated to the United States at the age of four, and grew up in Prince George's County, Maryland. He attended the University of Maryland and with a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, later obtained a Master of Business Administration, also from the University of Maryland. Sue worked as electrical engineer and then a supervising engineer for a local utility company for 12 years. He was ordained and served as a deacon in a Presbyterian church from 2005 to 12, and then an elder for several years at the House of Prayer for Everyone uh, Church in Maryland. During his time at Gordon-Conwell, he served as Greek teaching assistant, a Byington scholar, chapel assistant, and this year at Hamilton as the student body president. He was also part of a discipleship initiative for three years, and during their time at the Gordon-Conwell campus, his family attended and served at Calvary Christian Church in Linfield. He and his wife, Christina, have five wonderful children, one that was born while they were here. And uh, as we were lining up a while ago, he mentioned the last time he graduated, he only had one child, whereupon Dr. Lynch said, that means when you get your PhD, you're going to have 10, Sue. <laughs> Christina, we don't wish that on you. <laughs> Initially, Sue and Christina thought they were called to serve Christ in the marketplace, but through several trips, short-term mission trips to Thailand, they sensed a call from God to missions in that country. Their dream is that they would raise up disciple-making disciples so that people from the kingdom of Thailand would fill the kingdom of God. Following graduation, they will begin preparation towards that end. Let's welcome this morning, Sue Kim. Good morning. Across this great country, many degrees are being conferred. But many of these degrees make sense. Master of Biology, a Bachelor's in Engineering, maybe a Bachelor's in Education, those make sense. But what we're doing here requires a little translation. Some of you have sons and daughters, maybe brothers or sisters, maybe family members, a spouse that has been here for two, three, or more years, and you've been confused about what they've actually been doing. So allow me to give a little translation, if you will, to what we have been doing. Some of you might have heard your uh, students say, I'm going to a Christian college to get a demon. <laughs> and not only that, every summer, a bunch of demons descend upon the Hamilton campus. <laughs> Some of your students might have been getting an M-A-T-H. No, they don't struggle spelling math. In fact, many of them aren't even good at math. In fact, many of them are obsessed with just the number three. And of course, the most pretentious degree of all, the master of divinity. Talk about a pretentious degree. I have, I have mastered the divine. <laughs> very confusing, very perplexing. And you might have heard the silly acronym for PhD, permanent head damage. <laughs> actually, the acronym for MDiv is actually, my degree is valuable. <laughs> it really is. Please, hire me. But allow me to explain a little bit about what we've been doing here for the last two, three, or more years. And apologies to the Division of Biblical Studies, but I'm going to take a verse out of context and apply it to this context. You see, in Acts chapter 8, Philip went to an Ethiopian eunuch. And what seminary has been is more like the question Philip asked him. Do you understand what you're reading?
And our response has been very much like that eunuch. How can I unless someone guides me? That's what we've been doing for two or three years. And the Bible gives us great insight into what we have achieved. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Were the words of our Lord in John 15, 5. He is our source. He is a fountain. He is our supply. Everything we have comes from him. Without him, you wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. And yet, it would be easy for me to stand here and exclaim, class of 2019, we did it. As you walk across this stage momentarily and receive a degree that bears your name, it would be logical to conclude that you achieved it. And as everyone celebrates us today, we are tempted to think that this is all the fruit of our efforts. Our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. And we are dependent on many things. Right now, I'm dependent on this microphone. I've prepared, I've prayed, I've practiced the student reflection, but I'm depending on this microphone. What would happen if I walked away? Let's try it. A few of you heard me, but apart from this mic, I can do nothing. I am dependent. We are dependent. Apart from me, you can do nothing. And we've seen this dependence in many ways. For example, apart from our family and friends, we can do nothing. They have nurtured us, they have loved us, they have supported us. Many of them have guided us to the Lord. In some cases, maybe even back to the Lord. They have lifted us up when we've been down. They've given us courage when we wanted to give up. They've exalted in our successes. Apart from our family and friends, we can do nothing. So we're dependent upon our family and friends. But we see this dependence in another way. Apart from our staff and our faculty, we can do nothing. They have taught us. They have served us. They have loved and cared for us. We have been entirely dependent on their service, their friendship, their teaching, their mentorship, and their leadership. We've already recognized family and friends, but can we take a moment as a student body and recognize our staff and faculty? Apart from our staff and faculty, we can do nothing. So we're dependent on our faculty and staff. We have been dependent on our family and friends. Apart from them, we can do nothing. But most importantly, apart from God, we can do nothing. Even as we acknowledge our dependence on our family and friends and our staff and faculty, we remember that God gave them to us. When we acknowledge and recognize and applaud them, we are really recognizing, acknowledging, and applauding our God. Our Lord's words were, apart from me, you can do nothing. And as we depend on God, the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit is shown in and through us. And we reflect the image and glory of our triune God. Apart from God, we can do nothing. So graduates of Gordon-Conwell Theological Seminary, class of 2019, what does this mean for us? It means this. Apart from God, we can do nothing. Christ with us. Christ for us. Christ through us. Christ in us. It is no longer I who live but Christ who lives in me. He must increase, I must decrease. Christ in you is our hope of glory. Apart from God, we can do nothing. So celebrate this day. Celebrate God. You've worked hard. And apart from our family and friends, apart from our staff and faculty, and ultimately our mighty and triune God, you've achieved great things. But family and friends, to translate for you what we've been doing. 
This is not the fruit of our efforts. This is us depending on a God who loves us so much. On a God who gives us a hope that is unshakable, that is firm. On a God who is faithful to a people who often are faithless. This is what we've been depending on. And so graduates, depend on him. So that everyone you encounter may see Jesus Christ in and through you. Because apart from God, we can do nothing.